This lesson is called Dice Race. Almost everyone likes to play computer games. Have you ever thought about how computer programmers turn the steps of a game into a program? Hmm. The first step in creating computer games and in solving any problem requires thinking and planning. The thinking step of problem solving produces an algorithm, which is a step-by-step -step plan for solving a problem or finishing a task. In this lesson, you'll create an algorithm for a dice race game. Then, you'll ask your friends to try out your plan to see if they can follow the steps to play the game. After the programmer is sure the steps are correct, it's time to translate the algorithm into a program with language that the computer can understand. Almost everything we do every day requires an algorithm, a list of steps that you can follow to finish a task. Think about getting ready for school, or planning a fun day with your friends, or fixing a snack. To complete any of those tasks, you'll need to break it down into smaller steps, and sometimes the steps must be in a specific order. Think about making a sandwich. It doesn't matter which ingredient you get out of the cabinet first, but you can't spread the peanut butter until you open the jar. Computers need algorithms and programs to show them how to do even simple things that we can do without thinking about it. An algorithm is the thinking behind what needs to happen, while the program is the actual instructions given to the computer to make it happen. An algorithm has to be translated into a program before a computer can run it. Breaking a task into steps, called an algorithm, is sometimes difficult. But like any new skill, it gets easier and easier with practice.